try to do whatever I could do to, to help the kid out, be the best player he can be, try to help him, um, you know, be a, a better leader, be a, a better scorer, a better, um, a, a better floor general, a better uh, defender, a better passer, getting guys involved, a better leader vocally. Um, um, I try to give him everything and give him the, as much of the DNA as I could because like I told you guys throughout the season, at some point, when he was ready to, to take over the keys, I was ready to give them to him. Um, so the only thing I'm upset about is that he took a lot of the DNA and the blueprints now to Boston. That's the only thing I'm upset about, really. Other than that, I mean, I wish the kid, wish the kid great health. Um, and uh, the kid wanted to do what was best for his, uh, I guess, for his career. And, and uh, you know, I give credit to, you know, our GM, you know, Kobe, and our, um, to the ownership for, for granting that for him. Shannon, what did this tell you? Kills me. LeBron still can't find his heart to mention Dan Gilbert by name. He says ownership. That's Skip, true. what we have here is, and, and Kyrie even said during the playoff that he didn't want it to be a Kobe Shaq situation. And I think Kobe and Shaq fell out because Kobe was so dedicated. Mm -hmm. He came in every year in the best possible shape, and Kobe didn't think Shaq was giving it his all in the offseason to come back to be the best possible Shaq that he could be. Well, that's not the case for LeBron. It's, be, it's reported that he spends in excess of $2 million a year. Personal trainers, uh, physio, uh, masseuses, uh, 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 dietitians, making sure everything that he's operating in peak capacity. Skip, you know this. He's heat praise on Kyrie, saying Kyrie has MVP potential. Skip, how many... Four-time MVPs, three-time final MVP. You want to take the last shot? Go ahead. You want to take over the game? I stand over here in the corner and let you have it. Do you, bro? I'm good. You the man. Got hey, T. Lou. Let Kyrie take this last shot in Game Seven. I look, hey, he got it going. Let him go. It's not what he wanted. And LeBron is racking his. What could I do? Was it because I came back to begin with that you got so upset with it? Was it because of the shine that people, no matter what goes on, no matter how well you play, that I'm still going to get some credit? Even if I only have 17 points, you have 35. They're going to mention those 12 assists and those 13 rebounds I had also because I had a triple-double. What, what was it? I tried to help you at every turn. But, Skip, you can only help someone that wants to be helped. And when they want to move on, Skip, you just got to let them go. And, LeBron, don't you lose no sleep over wondering what you could have done or what you should have done differently. Because at the end of the day, this is all about Kyrie. Kyrie wanted to be elsewhere. Why he wanted to be elsewhere, and he's like, well, I don't have to give anybody a reason. Well, actually, you probably should because you requested a trade. They didn't trade you. You went for some reason. You wanted out of Cleveland, and you wanted out bad. I don't really think that's asking too much, Skip. I don't really don't. It's not like he was a free agent. Kevin Durant is one thing. Kevin Durant was free. He had fulfilled his obligation to the OKC Thunder organization. Kyrie Irving had two and a half years, two years plus an option on his contract. And all of a sudden, you just won out after going to three straight finals. You won the finals the previous year. Hmm. And all of a sudden, you're like, nah, I want to bounce. You can't understand why people think that might Kyrie be Kyrie had fulfilled one obligation to Cleveland. He'd made the shot of shots in Game 7 to win a championship. Kevin Durant did not do that for Oklahoma City, right? No, he didn't, but I, he made the shot. LeBron, hey, told T. Lou, whatever. We're we going to gloss over the chase down. We're going to gloss over that triple-double. We're going to gloss over that he led every player that touched the court in every statistical category. We'll gloss over that. We'll make it about Kyrie. And still, even though Kyrie made the shot of shot heard around the world, that wasn't enough for him. Mm. It was not. That's a fact. So my big picture, picture takeaway from all I heard from LeBron yesterday was it was absolutely brilliant. LeBron was at his greatest doing his media sessions because he puts a lot of thought into it mm -hmm. and he executes it brilliantly. Yes. And the first thing he did was, I don't know what more I could have done, and it turns LeBron into the victim here, like he was victimized by Kyrie, like, I don't, I don't know what was happening. And then he went into the classic passive-aggressive mode that he is so great at, 
and between the lines, he was actually criticizing Kyrie for all of his perceived or criticized shortcomings. And he's saying, I tried to help him with his leadership, with his playing point guard, his ball distribution, basically, running the show, and with playing defense. I tried to help him on all three fronts, and I, I guess it just wasn't enough. And I think five times he called him kid. the kid. The kid, the kid, the kid. It's it's a little bit of a put down. He's still a kid. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's immature. He'll wake up and realize that the grass isn't greener in Boston. And I'm going to say this again. Kyrie left because he couldn't take LeBron James anymore. And I reported this the day after that happened, after Kyrie announced. I told you, I have a source close to Kyrie who told me, that Kyrie had come to believe that LeBron was more about himself than about the team, and that that LeBron is not all that he's cracked up to be by the media behind closed doors. And Kyrie was just sick and tired of everything LeBron in the locker room, on the bench, and on the court. And I said the same things about Kevin Durant. I reported probably three years before he left, he was just going to leave at first option he was out, that he just couldn't take playing with Russell Westbrook. He liked him personally off the floor, and I can't say that for Kyrie and LeBron because Kyrie does not love LeBron off the floor, and they had a couple of per personal differ uh, differences that I don't want to get into, but there was bad blood, and it mm -hmm. escalated from the point mm -hmm. that LeBron chose to take his talents back to Cleveland. And it was a shock of shocks because it was, what, eight days after Kyrie had committed long-term yeah that he thought it was going to be his show, his team, his city, and the King returns. And it was a shocker. And Kyrie had to swallow a lot of pride and say, well, I guess I got to make this work. And to his credit and to LeBron's credit, they made it work. They won a championship. But Kevin Durant, I told you, won it out because ultimately he just didn't think he could win a championship with Russell Westbrook dominating the ball the way he does. And maybe – We'll find that Mello and Paul George come to the same conclusion fairly quickly. But the point here is, I reported this, and I'm going to stand by what I reported, and people can say, oh, you just hate LeBron, you're just making this up. I'm not making it up. This is the truth. It's why Kyrie, when asks, when people say, did you call LeBron before you asked for a trade? He's like, no, because he's not going to call LeBron. He doesn't like LeBron. He doesn't want to be around LeBron anymore. And he went out of his way to embrace a situation that's in the Eastern Conference that is on collision course for the Eastern Conference Finals. Kyrie wants to go head to head with his quote, <coughs> excuse me, quote unquote mentor. He wants LeBron in the Conference Finals. Can I ask you a question, Skip? LeBron mentioned about leadership, and he said he was trying to work with Kyrie on mm -hmm. that. Would you consider Kyrie a leader? I don't know yet because he was a baby when he tried to lead the Cavaliers pre-LeBron. Okay, what, and what LeBron is clearly the dominant force. Okay, what has leader been the or last thought to be years. leader would go weeks without speaking to teammates? He's very unhappy playing with LeBron. So LeBron all, dominates. So, so all lead, so I just want to make sure I'm right. Just make sure I'm. Okay, well, well, you know what? It's a good question. We're about to find out hold because on, now on, he's in a situation on, on. where he can display his leadership. So all great leaders are always in a in a great situation. They never have bad days, and so if you are going to be in a leadership position, it's okay if you don't want to speak to people. Okay, noted. Okay, but but remember, he thought he was positioned to become the leader of that basketball team, and all of a sudden, LeBron James comes home to Cleveland. As the who's going to be the leader? As, Help as, me out. As the leader of that team, they got Andrew Wiggins, mm -hmm. Anthony Bennett, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Deion Waiters as the leader of that team. Second of all, okay. LeBron James, four-time MVP, three-times final MVP. Skip, you don't mind me asking, who took the most shots last year in the regular season for the Cavaliers? You, you tell me. Who? What's your research? Don't do that, Skip. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. I don't me know. Me and Steve got us a great yeah. working relationship. Yeah. Steve, me, Steve, me and Steve always, we got this thing. Okay, hey. let me ask you this, Skip. Okay, we talked, he said he's trying to make him a better assist. Of the point guards, would you take Harden, Russ, or John Wall. And these are all wrong-headed questions because now we're about to find out. I told you his assists will go up by three or four a game. Well, why didn't Austin. they? Oh, let me ask you a question. Why didn't they go up by three or four assists a game when LeBron was off the court and he was on the court? 
LeBron ran the show. He ran everything. He ran when the LeBron, locker room. When LeBron was not in the lineup, he was out. He was in street clothes. Mm -hmm. Kyrie Irving's assist did not go up, but his shot and his points did. I'm asking, if LeBron is not on the court, he's not taking shots, he's You're not dominating the ball. back, and I'm looking forward. I'm looking to what's about to happen with the Boston Celtics because I think Kyrie will take over the franchise. He will dominate the basketball. He will be the point guard. And then we'll see what your stats say. And you can ask Steve Owens, what's happening now with Kyrie? And Hold Steve on. will tell you. And then you can repeat it back to me. Hold on. Tell me. Tell me. I thought the question was, yeah. we were talking about LeBron was ready to give Kyrie the key. I don't what care do what happened in the past. I don't care. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.